In this video, let us look at an example of Bezier curve. So the question is, design a Bezier curve which has been controlled by the four points. Point A and its coordinates, point B its coordinates, point C its coordinates and point D its coordinates. So now let us solve this problem. So totally there are four control points. So control points is equal to 4. Now we need to calculate the degree. Degree is equal to total number of control points minus 1. Totally there are 4 control points. So 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3. Therefore degree D is equal to 3. 3 means it is a cubic curve. So we already found the equation of the cubic curve in the previous video. So the equation is P of U is equal to P naught into 1 minus U the whole cube plus P1 3U into 1 minus U the whole square plus P2 3U square into 1 minus U plus P3 U to the power 3. So this equation we already found in the previous video. So what is this P0, P1, P2 and P3? So this a coordinates is only P1. I mean P0. So P0 is equal to 1 comma 1. P1 is equal to the B's coordinates 2 comma 3. P2 is equal to the C's coordinates 4 comma 3. And P3 is equal to D's coordinates 6 comma 4. Now we need to find x of u and y of u. x of u means in the place of p0 I should substitute p naught's x coordinate which is 1. In the place of p1 I should write the x coordinate of p1 which is 2. Likewise I should also find y of u. In that, in the place of P0, I should write its Y coordinate. So, X of U is equal to, so these four are my X values of P0, P1, P2 and P3. So, I should substitute that. So, P0's X, X coordinate is 1. So, 1 into 1 minus U, the whole power 3 plus P1's X coordinate is 2. So 2 into 3U into 1 minus U the whole square. Plus P2's X coordinate is 4. So 4 into 3U square into 1 minus U. Plus P3's X coordinate is 6. So 6U to the power 3. Which is equal to 1 minus U the whole power 3 plus 6u into 1 minus u the whole square plus 4 threes are 12. So 12u square into 1 minus u plus 6u cube. So this is the equation for x of u. Now we should calculate the equation for y of u. So in the place of p0 I should substitute the y coordinate of p0 which is 1. So 1 into 1 minus u the whole cube plus P1's y coordinate is 3. So 3 into 3u into 1 minus u the whole square plus the value of P2's y coordinate is 3. So 3 into 3u square into 1 minus u plus the value of P3's y coordinate is 4. So 4u to the power 3 which is equal to 1 minus u the whole power 3 plus 9u into 1 minus u the whole square plus 
9 u square into 1 minus u plus 4 u to the power 3. So this is the value of y of u. So this is the equation for y of u and this is the equation for x of u. For this equation of cubic Bezier curve, the u's value will range from 0 to 1. So 0 is also included and 1 is also included and all the values in between 0 and 1 are included. So now let us draw a table. U's value then x of u, then y of u. So this is the table. So u's value, it is ranging from 0 to 1 and 0 and 1 is also included. So from 0 till 1, the values will be there. So now after 0, I am going to write 0 0.2. Next I am going to write 0 0.4. Next I am going to write 0 0.6. Next I am going to write 0 0.8 and then 1. So point 0.2 intervals I have taken and I have written it over here. Now for the value 0. For the value 0 what is x of u and y of u? That is x of 0 and y of 0 because u's value is 0. We have found the equation of x of u as well as y of u. So in the place of u I should substitute 0 and find x of 0 and then in the place of u I should put 0 and find y of 0. So x of 0 is equal to 1 minus 0 the whole cube plus 6 into 0 into 1 minus 0 the whole square plus 12 into 0 square into 1 minus 0 plus 6 into 0 cube which is equal to 1 cube plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is equal to 1. Therefore x of 0's value is 1. So over here I should put 1. Next I should find y of 0 by substituting the u's value as 0 in this equation. Which is equal to 1 minus 0 the whole cube plus 9 into 0 into 1 minus 0 the whole square plus 9 into 0 square into 1 minus 0 plus 4 into 0 cube. Which is equal to 1 cube plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is equal to 1. Therefore the value for y of 0 is 1. So over here I should put 1. Next when the u's value is 0 0.2. I should find x of 0 0.2 and y of 0 0.2. So when you solve you will be getting the value is 1.712. Here you will get 1.984. When u's value is 0 0.4, x of 0 0.4 will be 2.616 and y of 0 0.4 will be 2.632. When the u's value is 0 0.6, x of 0 0.6 will be 3.664 and y of 0 0.6 will be 3.088. When the use value is 0 0.8, x of 0 0.8's value will be 4.808 and y of 0 0.8's value will be 3.496. When the use value is 1, x of 1's value will be 6 and y of 1's value will be 4. So these are the values. You need to calculate, you need to substitute in that formula and find these values. I have shown how to do when u's value is 0. You should do for the other 5 values.
Now let us draw the graph for this. So 0 in the x coordinate you will be having 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 in the x axis. In the y axis 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. In the question 4 points was given. So the first point was P0 1 comma 1. The second point P1 2 comma 3. The third point P2 4 comma 3. And the fourth point is 6 comma 4. So totally 4 points. Now first we need to plot these 4 control points in the graph. So first point is 1 comma 1. So 1 comma 1 means over here the point will be there. So this is P naught. The second point is 2 comma 3. So in the graph 2 comma 3 means over here. So this is point P1. Next P2 is 4 comma 3. So 4 comma 3 means over here. So P2. The last point is 6 comma 4. So 6 comma 4 means over here. So this is point P3. So after plotting the 4 points which is given in the question, I should plot the values in this table, given in this table. So the first value given in the table is 1 comma 1. So 1 comma 1 is this point. Next, 1.712, comma, 1.984. So, 1.712 will come somewhere over here. And then, 1.984 will come over here. This is the next point. Like, this is the point when u is 0 0.2. Next point is when u is 0 0.4. So, 2.616, it will come over here. To 2.632. So that will come over here. Next when use value is 0 0.6. The x and the y coordinates are 3.664 which is over here. And 3.088 which will come over here. Next when use value is 0 0.8. Its x value is 4.808. It will come here. And 3.496 will come over here. Next for 1, when use value is 1, it is 6 comma 4. So 6 comma 4 will come over here. So now I should join all of these points. After joining all of these points, I am getting a curve and that is known as the Bezier curve. So in this way we need to draw the graph for a given table. The start point which is P0 and the end point which is P3 is lying on the curve. Whereas the points P1 and P2 they are not on the curve. So this is one thing which we can infer by looking at this graph. So this is about the Bezier curve. I have attached the PPT of Bezier curve. In the description box, I have attached the link of the PPT. So please do refer to that. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.